Hello guys, me Elf, Elf Net Designs, and uh, today in this video we're going to be looking at a repeater and its basic operation. This uh, of course is a Vertex Standard UHF repeater model RPT21. It outputs 10 watts. It is uh, crystal oscillator controlled. It is old and amazingly enough it did come with the uh, microphone. Um, so we're looking at it. Power, power on. It's a non-repeat mode. Put it in repeat mode. Transmit LED. Busy. And yeah. Uh, take a look at the top. The receiver. All right. Off the front, you can see our receiver cavities, filters, all our circuitry. Is our frequency crystal. Receive. Uh, now everything I'm doing is going, it's going through that watt meter and that is tracking down to a dummy load that is down under the desk here. Can't see it, she's pretty big, it's 100 watts or so or better dummy load, I guess quarter kilowatt dummy load, it's pretty big, I'm not going to drag it out, but it's down there, take my word for it. Of receiving on 458 125. This is wideband and it transmits on 453 125. This repeater was donated off. Actually, it was pulled from a fire department when we put the digital in. And I'm thinking about converting it to GMRS. It's only 10 watts. I'd have to figure out some other power amplifier or something for it. But it's an awfully big unit, 10 watts only. The actual power amplifier is still being used on the digital stuff. 100 watts. So, oh, you can see all our IF stages, mixers right there. Under this side is a transmitter. It's also a transmitter uh, crystal. And when this thing developed this problem with a crystal, it was a bad oven. And this thing would get way too hot and cause this thing to drift. Horribly off frequency, it wouldn't receive. All right, now you can see I'm going through a dummy load, so I'm not transmitting blindly on a frequency. Oh, yeah, my walkie talkie test. Test one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There it is, it is it. Transmitting. And it's kicking back, so I take it out of repeat mode and use it as a base station. Oh, that's loud. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Radio service, one, two. And we're testing, and same principle. Go back to a simplex base station mode. Now we're in repeater mode. Um, like I said, it's going through this. Uh, Let's turn it back here. There's our watt meter. And we're on a 15 watts. So we're going to be on this. What line is it? Right there, that 15 line right there. See the 15? So I need to clean this lens, but. Uh, let's see what forward. What's going on here? Why are we working? Oh. Tighten the cord up there. <laughs> Right, antenna back. I've got about 10 watts, about nine and a half watts, 10 watts. That's what this thing's rated at. I could goose it a little more. I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna strap a crescent 100, uh, not 100 watts. I can't do that on GMRS. I'd get at least 50 watts. Let's see if I got any 50 watt stuff. Uh, I got some Master 2 power uh, amplifiers that they take about a half a watt and I can run this thing down that low and drive one of them. Just tune that down. Of course, I think I can get a Crescent 50 watt. I have to order it though. I don't really want to dump that kind of money into GMRS. Might try a Master 2. But that's a repeater. Here's our old style contactors transmitter. I'm mashing the mic. You see that? And I'm going to click it back into repeater mode. Turn that volume off. And I can, uh, when young, you guys can see the transmitter light here. Doing the same thing, uh, keying it up. Now, I do believe that 
This is the control station. Uh, this computer also has an option board, a multi tone rack mounted multi tone plugs in there. And it's got, I'm not sure what tone this is. It's got one, it got two boards. I think one is a two tone select call, and this is the PL tone. This I know this is PL because this light will come on when, uh, you know, when it receives the right tone, the light will come up and the system will work. I don't have it in now because the radios, I don't tune and repair radios while the PLs are in until the final product. Tune the deviation PL. Um, all that stuff. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Flip this up kind of on the side ish. I can see the other side. We have our power transformer. We have all of our. Uh, boy, that looks like it needs to be cleaned in there. I don't think about it. But we got a rectifiers, regulators, got a filtered AC. AC filter, no AC stuff. Have rectifiers and filter caps. Transformer. Here's our controller board. We have our hang time and our repeat audio. I might go through for shits and giggles and recap all this. Just something to do. There's an interface option. Is a custom option board coming off one of our plugs. Uh, under here is where the transmit crystal lies, ICOM. Um, it takes a standard ITX power. I've just got this high band antenna <laughs> stuck in for receiver. That's the receiver antenna. Multi-tone goes in there. We're in a control station to go in there. Here's operating frequencies. There's a transmitter which is running out watt meter on a dummy load. And that's it. That. So it is working. Flip this thing back over and sit this camera down. I think this phone or whatever the hell this thing is I'm holding. Uh oh. Oh, I got some noise. Oh, I'm stepping on in this one. And my shop radio was getting me some noise. RPT 21. Vertex standard. Communications. Okay. Option board, another part of the repeater. And I've got. Look at that for a minute. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, this is heavy. I've already tuned this thing. I have this. This is a higher end commercial grade duplexer. And uh, it's. I tuned it. January of this year to the GMRS. It's made by Decibel. Good, good, good duplexer tuned it. Checked okay. And how this works is come out of the receiver port into here, into that port, and your transmitter will go into this port, and you got your antenna output right here. These are combined four jug duplexer and what this does is it combines your receiver and transmitter so you don't need two antennas you can use one using two antennas you run into a problem with descents you can, uh, desensitize the receiver if you have the transmitter overpowering it but for 10 watts, you know, it's really not a problem, but if I'm using a high-powered amplifier behind it, it's going to be a problem. Um, yeah, a lot of applications, you want one antenna, like uh, if you're only allowed to put one antenna on a tower, where there's only one line on a tower that you're renting a slot from, and you'll use a duplexer. That's a give-or-take uh, situation. You got to, for what it gives you, it's going to take away and usually what it takes away is it will take away you know, some of your wattage and some of your receive sensitivity um, 
I have ways to recover the receive sensitivity. I have uh, inline preamps that I use. I will come, you know, out of the receiver port to a preamp and then into the uh, radio. I have that tuned to the frequency. That'll kind of make up a lot of the loss from the duplexer. And there's not much I can do about the transmit side except goose the power on the PA to, to make it back up, you know, before it hits the duplexer. Um, you know, I could try that. But I don't really ever run my power amplifiers at their max rated. I always run them about 25% lower just to save the life. And, you know, when you're dumping in $1,000 on an amplifier or better, you know, you can't. You don't want to run it full rake and have it burn up in a couple of years. You want to get the use out of it. And, you know, of course, if you're commercial, make your money. This ain't going to be a money maker, that's for damn sure, because it's wide band. Um, I'm sure there's ham operators that would like to have something like this to dick around with. But I think I'm just going to dedicate it to GMRS. Quite a 50 watt amplifier on it. Look at that duplexer. Or I could use 100 watts, turn it back, take power readings after the duplexer, get it back to 50. Also put some gain antennas, preamps, put it in my down at the tower site and have it on. The most money I'm going to spend is going to be on this little guy right here. Come on, focus. Oh, come on, you stupid thing, focus. All right, tell you what, this fucking... Shit. Come on, focus. Hell, the camera doesn't want to focus. Focus, you piece of shit. Oh, I don't know. There it goes. It's trying it. It's trying to. Let's see if it'll focus if I hold it still. Anyway, this little guy, this little crystal uh, element right here with a new oven. I was trying to focus. <laughs> Tries to focus once I have a finger in it. But yeah, that little that little board right there is gonna be a gonna cost some money. And then the matching one under the cover here, on the bottom side for the transmitter. I don't know if it will be worth it. I have two options. I could put, I could scrap all this out of here and put a couple of mobiles, some small mobiles in, modify the front. I could leave it all in and just sacrifice the money for that. Now I could always just junk the whole thing, but that's working radio. I don't really want to junk the whole thing if it's working, you know. But anyway. Repeater fundamentals, and you know what repeaters do. Make you portable. You have this installed on a tower on a hilltop or something, or a really tall tower. You know, with the antenna way up four, or five, six hundred feet up. And this is in a little building with an amplifier, duplexer, and all that. And you want to get your portables to go across, you know, town or whatever. Normally portable to portable you know this this radio to say that little cheapy piece of crap there oh yeah about about a mile if that on this thing here if installed correctly and tuned right you can get 20 30 miles between your portables i mean this would be at your halfway point you can get 20 30 sometimes even more you know depending on your output power antenna gain and how it's tuned and how high the antenna is well the antenna tower and greatly increase your range um you know you've seen other videos of mine where i built these same things you know smaller you know i got that that one there the two radios with that controller sitting there it's 40 watts in gmrs it's, it's not in the dummy load right now but it was just for testing and uh i don't know why i'm gonna do this uh, if I come across some crystals um, for this thing, they're not going to cost me an arm and a leg. Or if anyone knows where I can get some, 
for that model RPT21 standard communication vertex standard receiver and transmitter pair there's the module for GMRS let me know down there in the description of course you know give it the full thumbs up subscribe if you haven't like you know that stuff leave a comment if you feel like it and I'll see you guys in the next video